There was a mother in America in the 1930s. If you look at it, it looks like a simple mother who takes care of her four sons. But what they don't know, is that this mother is feared by other gang leaders like Machine Gun Kelly and John Dillinger. Whose mother is this? At first, she was a religious mother, but after a while had a criminal mind. Why did he form a gang? Whose members are her four sons, and why he is feared by other gang leaders? In this video we will get to know Kate Barker, or better known by the nickname Ma Barker. The mother who was feared in America in 1930, but before we continue, and if you are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe, click the like button and click the notification bell for more updates here in Life Amazing Stories. There is a family relationship in Arizona USA, that consistently attends their church. The Barker family, their mother's name is Kate Barker, and their father is George Barker. They also have four sons named Herman Barker the eldest, Lloyd is the second, Arthur is the third and Fred is the youngest. They live happily and simply in Arizona. Until one day, in the year 1929, came the stock market crash or what they call the Great Depression in America. Many companies closed, so many Americans losing their jobs, and one of them is George Barker the father of the Barker family. Unfortunately, the Barker family loses their income, they are one of the millions of families in America, who suffered in 1929. One day while they were going to church, Kate Barker ordered her youngest son to steal from the church donation. George was unaware of his wife's plan, while busy all in the singing. The youngest stole the money from the donation and pocketed it, he did it according to his mother's plan. When they got home from church, the youngest took out the money and then gave it to his mother happily. With the money given by the youngest, the father was surprised, and asked where his money came from. The mother's answer was, where else your son did? It steals from the donation. So the father was angry, what are you teaching to our children? Why are you teaching them to steal? Kate replied, why, do you want us to starve? You don't have a job and income anymore. The father was speechless and seemed embarrassed said by his wife. This was the beginning of Kate Barker, teaching her children to steal, at that time were only 7 years old to 12 years old. A few days passed. While George was looking for a job, and Kate was also like a basketball coach. They sit at the table, while Kate has paper and a bail pen. On this paper, she wrote the strategy they will do, how they rob the store. She gave each other a rule, and she proceeds her sons for able to steal. When in the store, the four children committed theft according to the strategy that their mother taught them. They entered the store slowly and Lloyd stole the money from the cash register. Kate and the extreme nervousness of the eldest. He broke a glass here, the owner heard the broken glass and saw them, he quickly grabbed Herman and then the three ran away. When the three of them got home, they found their father and mother talking. Lloyd immediately took out the stolen money and gave it to his mother. Kate was very happy with the stolen money, while George was surprised and wondered where the money came from. When Kate asked where Herman was, they said that he had been caught and taken to the sheriff. The father was surprised when he found out that his wife was teaching their four children to steal. Kate immediately goes to the sheriff to take her child. She told the sheriff that she had no knowledge of what the child did. Then she also allegedly taught him good manners, so it is possible that he stole from the store. But the owner of the store insisted that her children stole. But because Herman was a minor, the sheriff released the child. The shop owner was furious at what happened. When they got home. She scolded Herman and told him that this is the biggest crime you can commit, is to surrender to the cops, remember that. What the mother told her, and Herman was stamped. A few days later, Kate had many more targeted stores. She was the one who was planning and her children were the ones who acted to steal. George was angry with Kate, because of what he was teaching them with the children. Kate was just angry, and she broke up with George. On the other hand, George packed up and left their house. A few days passed, because the sheriff was so angry, that Kate told them to leave the house with the children. Because if they didn't, she would arrest her children. Kate did nothing, but leave the town with her four children, and here she revived them by stealing. A few years later, his four sons became teenagers and they continued to commit this crime, which has become their bread and butter. Here, they take their daily expenses they call their gang, the Barker gang they have become more skilled in stealing. but. The one who is still working on the strategy is their mother Kate who they called, Mama. Kate, is the mastermind of planning and her four children the one who is acting or her tentacles. One day, they plan to steal an armored car, 
but their intention was not to steal any more. Kate also told them that they had to kill the guards as well. The four children were surprised that they hadn't killed anyone yet. Kate had just bought guns from the syndicates. She developed a plan on how to block the armored car. Because Kate had been observing the schedule of the armored car at the bank for a long time. So, she already knew the schedule of them when the day of the theft came. She rode in a car while her four children got into another car. With Kate's car parked at the corner where she expected the armored car to pass. While her four children were also waiting at the other corner. A few minutes later, the armored car arrived, like Kate expected so she quickly started her car and she met the armored car. Kate's car and the armored car collided when it stopped, and then the car in which his children were riding, started and was hit by a rear armored car. They hurried down and threw tear gas at the small window of the armored car. The guards inside came out one by one because they couldn't handle the tear gas. When the guards go out, they shot them. Herman was hesitant to shoot a guard, because he felt sorry for him. So, what Kate did was drive over the guard, so the guard died instantly. A teenager saw this robbery so he called the police, while the Barker gang put the sacks of money in their car. A few minutes later, they put all the money in their car and they were in a hurry. They left the crime scene unfortunately, the police arrived late at the crime scene. Because they got a lot of money so, they spent a few months stealing. They celebrated, first they invited John Dillinger and Machine Gun Kelly to their house the two notorious criminals in America during those times. These two had high respect for Kate Barker, because of her courageous ability and brain in making a theft strategy. As they celebrating, her two sons Herman and Lloyd came out to fetch one of their friends. But unfortunately, some policemen saw their faces. So, they chased them, when they noticed that they were being chased by the policemen. The detour realized that the road was close to the ravine, so when Herman suddenly turned the car, the car overturned and it rolled. Fortunately, the two of them were injured, Lloyd was trying to get Herman out of the car. But because Herman knew that he could no longer walk because of his lambness, he just shot himself, instead of being caught by the police. He remembered, because his mother said that the big crime in their family was to hand over to the police. Lloyd came home wounded. And here he told what happened, how Herman shot himself, so the police wouldn't catch him. Kate cried so hard, because she knew, she had a reason why Herman didn't want to hand it over the police. They mourned for a few months because of what happened to Herman. After they mourned, they once again, planned the bank robbery. Their system is still the same, their mother Kate is planning but this time, someone has said it to their gang of two new members. They have been successful in stealing from banks, their money has increased. But this time, their family became a public enemy number one. So, what they do, is they move around their hideout so they don't leave a trace to the police. Until one day, Kate plans another crime and it's kidnapping. She goes to a bank and she pretends to be a rich client to deposit in Sterling Bank. She talked to the bank manager and she said, she would withdraw millions in a bank and she would deposit them. When the manager heard this, she was happy, and she considered Kate a VIP because you can no longer doubt an old woman. So. They were relieved they talked about their children. Kate lied that her four children were studying in private schools. The manager also told a story about where her children are studying at the same time. The manager shows a picture of her son. Kate found out where the manager's son is studying, so she also got a lot of vital information. When they talked to the manager later, Kate said goodbye and said that she would come back tomorrow to make a deposit. When she came home, she called her children to plan the kidnapping. Their plan was not to kidnap the manager's son, but to kidnap the manager. The children asked themselves, how strategy their mother would do. She just said, she would call the bank manager, she would pretend to be the principal of the school. And she would say that her son had a stomach ache, and she needed to go to school. Kate's son asked, will the manager go to school? Kate just answered, trust me, son. So the children did nothing, but trust their mother. Kate called at the bank. She told the manager that she was the principal and that her son's stomach hurt. She said she had to go to school to pick up her son. The manager went to her son's school. When the manager came out of the school, suddenly, a gun was pointed at her in the back. Then he was immediately blindfolded. So, he could not see the faces of the two. He quickly got in the car and then they left. A few hours later, Kate called the manager's wife and they asked for ransom money of $200,000. 
which was a huge amount in the 1930s. They told him not to contact the police and put the $200,000 near the sea and a speedboat would come there to get the money. The manager's wife made the kidnappers said that t he went to the beach alone and left the money. The masked people came and took the money. Then the manager was left there unharmed and in good condition. When the managers returned safely to their house, police immediately want to get information on the manager's stories. The police seemed to know the kidnappers were located. A few days, the police investigated on the south side and they tracked down a house near the mountain. They found out that there was the manager was taken when she was kidnapped. But they didn't know who the kidnappers are. At that time, the only ones in the house were Kate and her youngest son Lloyd. Her two children just went outside, and the police immediately shouted that those inside the house came out, and they were surrounded. Kate and her children surprised, and they took out their machine guns, they fought with the police. And unfortunately, they were killed by the police. A few hours later, Kate's two children also arrived and also started shooting at the police, but suddenly, they were both killed by them. Here Kate Barker's mother's life ends, and the so-called most ruthless crime mother in America. The Bible says, the person who lives in the dark also dies in the dark. So, while they are young, teach them the way they should walk. So, that when they grow old they will not deviate from the straight path.